Hi, I'm Vance, and welcome to Repair and Replace. All hot water heaters will have some sediment from the water that builds up inside the tank. The older a tank gets, the more sediment will accumulate. By doing regular maintenance, the sediment can be removed before it creates any problems. In gas water heaters, sediment that collects on the bottom of the tank will slow the transfer of heat, which decreases the efficiency. Additionally, in electric water heaters, sediment can cover the lower heating element, causing it to overheat or even burn out. In this episode, I'll show you how to do a deep flush of your water heater. To begin, you'll need a screwdriver, a garden hose, and a washing machine hose. If you have an electric water heater, then shut off the power at the breaker. For gas water heaters, turn the gas supply off or perpendicular to the pipe. Now set the water heater to the pilot setting and turn the gas control off. Next, shut off the cold supply. Keep in mind that the water inside the tank is still hot. So use caution when draining or accessing the tank. To do a deep flush of your tank, you'll have to drain all the water. First, open a hot water faucet in the house. This will let in air and relieve pressure in the system. Now, connect the garden hose to the drain valve. Open the valve to drain the water. This process can be slow and might take 30 minutes or more to drain. Now, if the water is draining slowly or not draining at all, then it's likely that there's sediment clogging the valve. If needed, you can do a back flush. Connect a washing machine hose to a threaded faucet, then connect to the garden hose. In some cases, you might need an adapter. Open the faucet for several seconds to blast water back into the tank. This should break any sediment loose. Disconnect the washing machine hose and Continue to drain the tank. If it becomes clogged again, then you might need to back flush several times. Now that the tank is empty, you can do a flush to remove some of the built up sediment. Turn on the cold supply for 20 seconds to blast water into the bottom of the tank. This will agitate and lift the sediment. Now drain the water. You can repeat this four or five times as needed until the water draining out of the hose is running clear. Now close the drain valve and disconnect the hose. First, double check that there's a hot water faucet open in the house. Now open the cold water supply to fill the tank. Check the faucet. You should hear the air being pushed out of the system. Close the faucet once you get a smooth stream of water. This will tell you that the tank is full and the air has been removed. If you have an electric water heater, turn on the power at the breaker. For gas water heaters, turn on the gas and relight the pilot. To see how to relight the pilot, watch the video linked below. Now you know how to properly flush your hot water tank. If you like this and want to see more tutorials and informational videos, then subscribe to our channel. And if you need help, you can call or visit our naming location to talk with our knowledgeable staff. Thanks for watching.